instances of violence against women and children, cases of human trafficking and the subjugation of the so-called weaker gender has been something that we have seen or all of us have at least witnessed in our lives. While we have laws in place that can help these individuals fight for their rights, there are some angels amongst us who through their relentless efforts and determination help women fight for what is their right, the right to live with dignity. Which is why our sixth award category this evening is Girl Child and Women Rights Empowerment. Our nominees tonight have been shortlisted based on the impact of their initiatives focused on the protection of women against exploitation and violence, promoting education and employment to improve their livelihoods and fighting for birth of the girl child. Take a look at the nominees. In the category Girl Child and Women Empowerment, the nominees are Anuyara Khatun, Anu Yara Khatun was trafficked as a child maid at the age of 12 to Delhi. Six months later, Khatun escaped and began working as a child rights activist, rescuing children of all ages and providing them with avenues for education, livelihood and dignity. Niraj Gera Niraj Gera has been tackling period poverty through his photo series, Sacred Stains. Through workshops and sessions conducted in villages, Neeraj busts myths and creates awareness among young men and women about menstruation while motivating young girls to speak about their periods with their families more often. Ajit Singh Ajit has rescued over 1,000 girls and empowered them with education and rehabilitation while legally prosecuting 1,400 cases against sex traffickers. Sonal Kapoor Sonal Kapoor has been working to break the intergenerational cycle of child abuse and poverty. She empowers young girls through her unique heart framework that stands for holistic healing art and technology. Rajan Suman Rajan Suman used cricket as a tool to motivate young women in the villages to break the shackles of patriarchy and step out of their homes. Indian under the category of girl child and women's rights empowerment is Ajit Singh. A social activist and the founder director of Gudia Swayam Sevi Sanstan, Ajit Singh is determined to eliminate the evil of second generation prostitution at the age of 17. He adopted three children of a lady from a red light area and since then he has been relentlessly fighting to not only rescue victims of prostitution but also help them fight for their rights all the while breaking the criminal nexus of exploitation, drugs and human trafficking. Please put your hands together for Mr. Ajit Singh. What a story of inspiration this is. Well, India, of course, has come a long way when it comes to healthcare facilities and reforms, public private partnerships, adoption of digital technologies, and the advent of telemedicine has evolved in the Indian medical ecosystem like never before. But COVID-19 pandemic did reflect the mirror back at us to say that there is still room for improvement when it comes to making affordable health care and medical assistance available to each and every Indian. Our seventh award category this evening is health care and medical assistance. Our nominees tonight have been shortlisted based on the impact of their initiatives undertaken towards the improvement of health through prevention, diagnosis and treatment. Let's take a look at the nominees of this category. In the category Healthcare, the nominees are Omkarnath Sharma. Ask any resident in the by lanes of Delhi's well to do neighborhoods about Medicine Baba and they will tell you about the selfless Omkarnath Sharma who goes door to door collecting unused medicines. Swapnil Arun Gavade, losing a blind friend who kept waiting for the eye donation to come through changed Swapnil permanently. For the next 15 years, Swapnil channeled his adolescent energies in opening the first eye bank in Amravati. Anant Nebatia. 
Since 2007, Anand Nevadia and his Rural Healthcare Foundation have done exemplary work in providing high-quality, affordable outpatient care to over 2.8 million patients in low-income, densely populated regions of West Bengal. Nitya Rao. At the height of the lockdown, Nitya started Brief Relief, a helpline for people dealing with loneliness, depression, and mental health issues. Avail free therapy and counseling. Karimol Hub. After losing his mother in 1995, due to the lack of ambulance coverage in his village, Karimol Hub started ferrying the sick to hospitals in a makeshift ambulance crafted by attaching a carrier to his bike. And the amazing Indian under the category of healthcare and medical assistance is Omkar Nath. Big round of applause for Mr. Omkar Nath. Omkar Nath, fondly known as Medicine Baba, has dedicated his time to ensuring medicines are made available to each and everyone, especially the needy. This inspiring 85-year-old has not shied away from going door to door asking for unused medicines from the rich and individuals who have the means to afford health care. Just to be able to give these unused medicines free to people who cannot afford them. Omkarji, we salute your spirit, your dedication and your devotion. I think this deserves, deserves a loud, louder round of applause. How can you miss him? <laughs> These are the tales of inspiration we are certainly going to be taking back for us. Well, thank you, Dr. Adani. In fact, we would like to also 